Hey, what's going on everyone? I have got a new project on my hands here. It's a 2011 KX250F and there's an issue with the engine. So I got the bike exactly how it sits right there. The top ends off the bike and it's in a box. I snagged this bike off of one of you guys here on YouTube actually. So if you're watching this, thanks for hooking me up on a deal bro, appreciate it. Anyways, I'm gonna get started by tearing into this bike. I'll see how far I can make it today. So I'm checking this thing out and these cowies come with black rim stock, but the front rim is silver. So I took a closer look and the front wheel and brake caliper are actually off of a Honda. Maybe even the forks too. I'm gonna have to dig into this and figure out what's up. Before I get this bike up on the stand, I'm gonna check over a few things. First, I'm gonna make sure the brakes are working properly and then check over the fork and shock seals for any leaks and then drain out the oil and coolant and then also take a look at the shock linkage to make sure there's no free play in those bearings. Looks like we've got pretty good pressure in these back brakes, so those are good. Now I'm gonna push down on the back of the bike to see if the shock seal is leaking at all. Looks like it's good to go. I don't see any oil on the shaft there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the forks. Just compress them and look for any oil on the tubes. These seals appear to be in pretty good shape. I do not see any leaks at all. To check for sloppiness coming from this rear shock linkage, I'm gonna pull up on the back of the bike and see if there's any movement coming from there. Seems to be good to go. It looks like the coolant's already been drained out. So now I'm gonna see if there's any oil in the engine. I think the previous owner already drained out most of the oil, but this oil appears to be pretty clean. Thankfully, I don't see any metal chunks coming out so far. Things are about to get serious when I'm putting the bike up on the scissor lift. Who's ready to see this bike get taken apart? I am, that's for sure. Of course, every teardown starts with taking off the seat. Well, this seems pretty sketchy. These brackets are just about to fall off. Next, we're gonna rip all of our clothes off. <clears throat> I mean the plastics, of course. The gas tank and fuel pump are next to come off, and then I'm going to attack the subframe, muffler, and airbox. You guys know the routine by now. Take the gas tank off and put the gas in the lawnmower.
This airbox boot is the Moto Tassinari Air Force. The cool thing about these is the intake tract is interchangeable, so you can change the power delivery of the bike. So this just slips into here. But the crappy thing about this one is this boot is cracked. So that's gonna decrease the value of it quite a bit. So what I'm working on next is gonna be all the electronics. Going to pull off the coil, wiring harness, the regulator down here, throttle body, and the ECU up front. Not good. Junk. Let's go see if these handlebars are bent. Nope, they're good to go. The last thing in store for today is to pull off the radiator and hoses. Here are the parts I'll be tossing out to the junk pile so far. 
these plastics are pretty hammered not really worth saving them and this head pipe was cut on the end for some reason also the mounting flange is pretty bent and this filter base plate has a crack in it hey thanks for following along with this teardown and in the next video i'll be taking the rest of this bike apart this is kind of off topic and i do not like asking for things too often but i figured i would bring this up so i know most of you guys already shop on amazon or ebay and one thing you can do to support the channel is to use the affiliate links down in the description I will put the Amazon and eBay links as the first two links down there. How this works is you click the link, make your purchase on eBay or Amazon. I get a small commission. It does not cost you anything extra. Only takes a second or two out of your day to do this. And of course, it helps me continue to put these videos in your subscription box every week. Thank you so much for doing that. And I will see you guys tomorrow where I'll be busting butt on this bike.